Hey YouTube, this is really quick. This is how to fix if you've bought a Kodeo speaker mount like myself. You may have heard in my review me say the cable wasn't coiling just as well as I hoped it would, and um, it was really long. Well, without changing the wire at all, well, yeah, changing the wire, but you don't have to put anything on it. You only need your hands. Very simple, and it's a great trick because, as you can see here, how quickly it will spring back now. I didn't heat it up, didn't melt it. Just a quick preview for this um, if you didn't already know how to make coiled cable you've got videos on YouTube about using the hairdryer that's not going to work the way they make them is once the wire is made it's wound around a uh, iron rod and then baked at 90 degrees for many hours but that's not what will keep it um, coiled and this nice um, snappiness to it um, then they in reverse the coil so you know how sometimes you get um, a kink in it uh, like so well, you just keep kinking it all the way along the cord until you begin to get, you basically reverse the process. So as you can see here, I'm reversing the coil now. Obviously, I'm not going to because that was the um, state it came in. And either the factory had or hadn't done it. But uh, if they had done it, they didn't do it um, very well. So I reversed it and now it's much, much better. The coil cord is now shorter. And comparing it to that of the XQR, it's not now ridiculously long. Yes, it's longer, but before it was much longer. So that is how to fix your Kodeo speaker mic, which is now actually um, perfect for me. The cable's really good now. So once again, this is just a quick review on how to fix, um, well not fix, but uh, improve the wire of your Kodeo speaker mic. Thank you for listening. If you have a question or comment, leave it down below. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.